I'm now going to ask Nadia to come up to the stage um, as we celebrate 30 years of co-education at St Dunstan's. Thank you very much. It really is wonderful to be back here and thank you very much for inviting me back. Um, parts of the school haven't changed at all, this wonderful room being one of them. I joined St Dunstan's in 1995 and I was part of the second cohort of girls. The year had four forms and about 100 pupils altogether, of which only 18 of them were girls. In fact, one of the forms didn't have any girls at all. At the time, it was we knew no difference. Um, we didn't realise how few of us there were, but we were regularly grouped with the girls in the year above, who were the first cohort of girls. Um, in particular in extracurricular activities, mainly because we needed enough numbers to make a hockey team. And when I think of my time at St Dunstan's, the vast majority of my memories are around the extracurricular part of the school, which was so strong and sounds like it continues to be uh, one of the strengths of the school. And I think quite a lot of that is because I was part of the first few girls of the school as a result, I found myself in the first netball team, the first hockey team, the first rounders team, swimming, tennis, cross country, choirs, the lot. Uh, sports in particular, I couldn't believe I was in part of the teams. My, my lack of any real sporting skill meant that we lost a lot. Um, but I learnt uh, early on how to deal with repeated crushing defeat. Um, and that's really helped me in further life. <laughs> we always tried our best. We always picked ourselves back up again. Um, I was in the chamber choir. I was in the gospel choir and had parts in all productions um, simply because we, we were so few of the girls. Um, and I was a devoted uh, Stuart House member, although I understand uh, you've recently changed all of your house names. In short, I threw myself into all aspects of school life, and that's something that I've taken into adulthood and my working career. I grab every opportunity I can, and I try not to say no to things, part of the reason I'm standing here in front of you today. I found that getting involved in lots of things at lots of different levels not only helped me to learn diverse skills, but found that I was truly embedded and getting the maximum out of my setting school, university, work, it, it doesn't matter where. After leaving St Dunstan's, I went to study modern languages at Durham University. Um, and um, whilst I don't use these on a daily basis, being able to communicate with people from all walks of life has proven to be a fantastic skill set. Especially now, I run a recruitment business with my partner, helping people find jobs and careers in media, marketing and live events. A lot of you must be thinking long and hard about what you do want to do when you finish school. And I remember thinking long and hard about that when it came to choosing my GCSEs. I remember finding it incredibly difficult to make that decision, especially when you don't really know what's out there. In fact, I remember wanting to go into politics, which now is laughable, given I have absolutely zero tact um, or diplomacy. Um, in the end, I decided to choose subjects that I enjoyed. Um, I did the same with my university degree and only came to really give my career some thought after I graduated. I thought long about what motivated me. Um, I knew at the time it wasn't money, although that is nice. Um, I knew I had always been competitive and target driven. Um, and most importantly, I loved and still love meeting and talking to people. So I chose a role in media loved every minute of it, and that's why I now recruit into that industry. Just one final thought. Um, I owe a lot of how I approach life to this school and what I learnt here. To focus on the things that give me joy, to set goals, to be adaptable and resilient, and most importantly, to throw myself into anything, no matter what. After all, opportunities come to pass, not to pause. Thank you.
thank you so much to Nadia for coming back after all this time and speaking with us this morning. It was really um, insightful and inspirational, so thank you. Um, and talking of inspirational, we've now got Ren to play for us this morning, which is a great treat as always, so thank you, Ren. Over to you. <laughs> 